so I did uh, the Drunken Clam as a mock. Um, sort of the inspiration for it was a uh, brick fair, was it Virginia? Burn, you were with me. You were talking to someone who had a pretty spectacular layout and they had these amazing signs on their buildings. So I was asking, I was like, oh, I haven't, I haven't seen those before, Where, where'd you get those? And he's like, oh, they're from uh, model train sets. Um, and he just sort of brick built around the model train signs, which are actually paper thin. So I sort of look at it as a custom sticker. So uh, I mean, if you're a Lego purist, um, the sign that I use is not actually Lego, um, but I did brick build behind it. Um, so when I was looking for a design to actually go along with the sign, um, because it's an animated series and if you've seen um, my Bob's Burgers mock, um, I ran into the same problem where um, since it's, a, it's drawn, hand drawn, uh, different episodes, the building looks different. So sometimes it has windows on the side, sometimes it has a different color, sometimes it has a back, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes there's a building next to it, sometimes it's a parking lot. So I kind of had to pick which version of the building I wanted to actually mock. That's uh, the mock that I ended up doing. Um, so I, have a, I detailed the interior, I tried the best I could. Again, the interior, same thing, that they sort of change it based on the episode. So like, they'll just put something completely different just to support the story of the, you know, the, the show. Um, so I just kind of had to pick and choose like what parts of uh, the lore I wanted to go with and what, which ones I wanted to ignore. Um, but I tried my best to, to kind of keep it more streamlined to the most common versions of the building. Um, so I have like the bar inside and I have like a little dartboard in the corner and the, the, the booth where, where they sit um, is in there as well. Um, so I tried my best to do that. Um, not a lot of images of the back, so I kind of just had to wing it with the back. Um, but most of the images that I've seen with where you could see like sort of the, the all three dimensions uh, of the building um, has typically has like a, a you know a HVAC unit and a small chimney uh, in the back corner. So I tried to make sure those were in there. Um, and then yeah, in the back, just sort of like a generic uh, back door with a you know dumpster and a cardboard box kind of just hanging out there. Um, so yeah, going back to the sign, which I, I think is the coolest part, um, and it was sort of I sort of built the entire um, building sort of around the sign, um, lights up, which is very cool. Put your lighting in from uh, from brick stuff. It's hard to see, um, but yeah, so it actually. It's uh, animated, which oh, yeah. I think is a lot of fun. So it kind of just adds a little more, um, a little more detail, I think, to, to a Lego build. Um, I also uh, included a glow in the dark minifigure head for the. Uh, I'm gonna charge it up really quick for the light here. Yeah. So yeah, that's about it. Nice. So, drunk and clam.